Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It's time for Date Night with Lisa. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. It is Saturday, June 4th, and um, it is 7 o'clock on the uh, Eastern Time Zone in Virginia. I'm in Chesapeake, Virginia, and I am so excited you're joining me. You probably can see, like, on the outskirts of my... Um, paper right here this piles of stuff I have I want to do a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I just got today um, from the new holiday mini so I carried it all in here not all of it but just some of my favorite things that I ordered and I had it two days shipped so I could get it um, today and hopefully work on it I was going to try and do a card with it tonight but I didn't have time so um we're going to do one of these. I'm going to let you decide which one you want to do. So I did both of these today, and I did this one first, and then I said, well, I'm going to see what it looks like with the purple. And I liked both of them, and I couldn't decide which one to do tonight. So I'm going to let you guys decide which color you want to do. I brought everything to make both of them, so we can do uh, the pink or the purple. Hey, everybody. Hey, Beth. Hey, Carla. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Sherry. How's everybody doing? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Linda. Um, okay, we're getting a lot of purples and a lot of pinks. So we've got, uh, looks like about split right now. Purple, purple. Okay, we're picking a color. Which one you guys want? Um... I think we're getting more purples than pinks. They're both exactly the same, except they just use a different paper for the, um... I started at seven. I just started like two minutes ago, Darlene. So it is uh, 7.02. <laughs> I just started. All right. It looks like we definitely have more purples. So, well, now we got a couple more pinks coming in. All right. So I'm thinking more purple. It looks like it's about maybe 60, 40, but um, <laughs> it's like pink, purple, pink, pink, purple, pink, purple. All right. I think we're going to end up probably doing the purple one, but they're both gorgeous. I'm going to show you how to do both of them. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same, except I use different paper. We're using the new Horizons paper for the flowers. And um, that's really the only difference between the two, um, just the colors. So I'm gonna show you how to make those in just a few minutes. But first I wanted to show you a sneak peek because I got my holiday mini order today. Well, yesterday actually, when I got home from work last night. So <laughs> the funny thing is I got home about 10.30 and the packages were on the door, you know, the porch. And um, I hate, hate, hate opening my door at night because if I turn the light on then the bugs immediately like come over and that's what happened so I had three packages out there I opened the front door I didn't turn the porch light on but I turned the hall light on you know like in the foyer and this giant bug flew in I don't even know what it was it was like this big and it was making a buzzing sound and it kind of like was a cross between a moth and a bee, but I don't know what it was, but I was screaming and then I was trying to wave something at it to get it back out the door. And I finally did because I didn't want that thing in the house with me um, last night while I was sleeping. So <laughs> that was my story last night. So I didn't unpack it until about a couple hours ago. So this is the cover. I cannot show you the inside because we're not allowed to um, until it goes live to customers. But as a demonstrator, we can order out of it. And um, no, it was not a palmetto bug. It was um, flying. And I don't know what it was, but it was just huge. I don't know, but it scared me to death. So um, I'm glad it's not in here. <laughs> oh, Sherry, good. You got the card you want already. That was quick. Um Hello, everybody who just joined. Yes, you are live because it's 7.05 right now. So this is the live. All right, so I don't know what a June bug is, but it was something big that was flying around. All right, so this is the cover, and I can't show you anything inside, but I am going to show you what I got. 
So, you ready? First, we have these cute little boxes, and I'm gonna open one up. I almost didn't see these. There's like a bunch of stuff hidden around um, on the pages. And I'm gonna go through this pretty fast because I wanna get to the video, but I mean, to the project. I probably should have opened this first earlier. So they're really cute little box or bags that you can like, I don't know if you wanna put a tea light in here and uh, or a treat or something, but they're holes, you know, so you can see through. So you could put like a tea light and um, put them down your driveway if you're having a party or, you know, just do whatever you want. Put a little cello bag with candy in them. I just thought they were adorable and they're really, really sturdy. They're not like flimsy at all. They're very um, like box material. So very thick and um, love them. And I think they were on the page with the Halloween stuff and that's why I didn't really see them because I don't do Halloween. So I just kind of skipped over that. But then I was looking at the back and I saw them. So I went back and looked. Um, so I'm going to show you like the embellishment stuff first. These are really cute. These are textural elements. Oh, I don't want to open. Here we go. So these are like little wood things. We used to have some almost exactly like this. So you can sponge, sponge these, do whatever you want, put them on with some glue dots on a card. They're really cute. Loved those. There's some gorgeous ribbon. This is vanilla and gold, let me see, satin edge ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful, I love that. This is really cool. So you get a pack of leaf label and amber gem combo pack. So this has the gems in there and it has all these leaves already cut out for you. So this was really pretty, I loved, 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 loved those. I'm throwing everything on the floor. <laughs> New pearls, these are gorgeous colors. So. You know, we had the silver and gold ones, metallic ones. So these are kind of like those. And then also some mint macaron ones. So you've got gold, silver, and mint macaron. And I think there's actually another color under here. Hold on. It doesn't say on the front. It says red and green. Why does it say red and green? Red and green, adhesive back pearls. I don't see any red. Hold on. Maybe they mismarked it. <laughs> I don't know, unless there's some hiding. Oh, there we go. There's red. Oh, so it's red. That looks like mint macaron. That looks like real red, mint macaron, and then gold, uh, silver gold. So I'm thinking, I'm going to check them out with my metallic ones that I already have and see if they're the same, because if those are the same, I'm going to keep them and still use them. But I love the mint macaron. I use that, that color a lot. Um, and I can't get them in, back in. Ah! Okay, we'll worry about that later. All right, these I thought were so gorgeous. Adhesive back sequin, sequins and gems. So these are sequins that are um, sticky on the back, and these little gems are so cute. So I loved, loved, loved the colors of this. I'm not sure exactly what color that is. It kind of looks like turquoisey, but it just depends on which way you go in the light. So love those. Then we've got these little things, which are cute. These are open leaf trinkets. So you can put um, like linen thread through this and have it hanging on something on a card. Um, or you could just, I don't know, do something. I think they're just pretty. You could actually make like a little necklace out of that. But you can put the ribbon right through the hole and hang them on your cards and stuff or a gift box or a treat bag or whatever you want. All right, then we've got a new punch. This is called the Handmade Tag Punch. Love it, love it. And I think this is gonna be a, a really good seller. Plus you can actually cut it like here and here or here and here and make different shapes out of that. Um, all right, here's some stamp sets. So we've got Splendid Thoughts, which is gorgeous. Love it, love it, and dies to match. We've got embossing folder. This is called Leaf Fall, and it's got leaves on there. This is a Christmas one. I didn't buy too much Christmas stuff yet because it's only June, so I thought it was a little bit early to buy all my Christmas stuff, so I just got the stuff that wasn't Christmassy pretty much, mostly right now. Um, hello, everybody that just joined on. 
Hello, Lynn and Stacy and Kate and Starla. Hey, Starla. Um, who am I missing? Pat, Bling Bling, Cher, Linda, Judy, Tiffany. Hey, Deborah Marcunas. And Butler. All right. Hey, everybody. All right. So I got a pumpkin one. So this is a matching set and die. I don't love it quite as much as the pumpkin set from last year because that was absolutely gorgeous. But it is really, really cute. Um, I was upset that they retired that last pumpkin set already. This one I think is cute, but it's so funny because I think that bird looks a little bit pregnant. <laughs> I just think that that bird's a little bit too fat. <laughs> needs to go on a diet like me. Um, this snowflake crystal I thought was really, really pretty. That's going to be a good background stamp for cards. And then I got the trees for sale, which this one has a die that goes with it that's free in the celebration mini that's going to start next month also. So those are just a few. And then I've got a few more. Hold on. I've got soft seedlings. This one is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this was like one of my favorites. So I'm going to be using this one a lot. Um, a vintage Christmas, which goes with the punch with the bottle set that we've already got. So I got that to match. So we can use that punch with that. This one, oh my gosh. Now this is me, totally my life. If I was retired, this is what I'd be doing. I'd be on a tropical island somewhere. And I have to tell you about my day because it was fantastic. And then this one is actually one of the free sets in Celebration. And it's called Stylish Sketches. So you can get this one for free with your $50 order. And I meant to put that in my other pile because I have a pile of just um, Celebration stuff. So I'll put that over here. All right. So that's a bunch of stuff. Then this is exciting. Embossing Editions Toolkit. So, for all of you guys like me who have missed the Embossing Buddy and the Powder Pals, and there's also extra stuff in here, look, you're going to be freaking out. Because when I saw this in the catalog, I was like, yay! Because it's a kit. It's got the Powder Pals for embossing powder, which I use all the time anyway, even though they're retired. Um, but they brought it back. They brought back a little brush so you can wipe off your extra embossing powder that you get on your paper. We have now tweezers. You know, I had to buy some on Amazon because we didn't have any. So I think Stampin' Up's been watching my videos. The only thing they didn't bring back was shimmer paint and uh, that may be next. I don't know. Embossing Buddy. So I'm excited about that. And these tweezers are awesome. They're like I don't know. It almost looks like ivory or something, kind of. It's not. They're very, very nice. Very nice. Almost like nonstick cooking pan stuff. I don't know what it's made out of, but these are nice. Nice tweezers. So now you don't have to buy them on Amazon because Stampin' Up! has them. And you get this whole entire kit. I think it was, I want to say $27. It came as part of a suite, though. I didn't order it separately. It was part of the suite. And I can't remember which suite it's in, but um, you get all of those together. So that was exciting. Okay. And then we've got some paper. I'm going to show you real quick. So here's the pumpkin paper. I'm not going to go through the whole pack, but just show you the front. This is one that is embossed. So it's all different colors. It's called Splendid Day Specialty Paper. So this one is gorgeous. And then they have, oh, black 12 by 12 paper. This is the poinsettia paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. This one is a free pack of paper. This is in the um, celebration, and it's called Rings of Love. And then this one is vellum with snowflakes on it. And it's beautiful. So I'm not going to go into details about all those because there's plenty of people who have unboxing videos. But I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I've ordered um, just to get you guys excited. So, um, oh, also, this month they're having a kit special. So it's buy one, get one half off of all the kits. All you have to do is go to either my website, stampingwithlisa.com. And click on shop now and click and then like search for kits and they'll come out 
come up on the screen or you can just go to stampinup.com slash kits and all the kits will come up. So there's tons of kits on there, including a couple new ones. Um, and they're buy one, get one half off. So they make great gifts for um, anybody, especially for like teenage people that like to do crafts um, or older people that are stuck like in, you know, nursing homes or assisted living or something that don't really get around and they want to do some crafty stuff because everything comes with it. So um, those are great things. All right. And one more thing I want to show you real quick. Actually, two more things. Sorry. This is... There's going to be a celebration next month. So every time they have celebration, there is a new special. So, oh, ceramic tip. That's maybe what it is. I have a Teflon bone folder. Maybe that's Teflon. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look and see what it says in the catalog. Um, oh, puff paint. There is puff paint in the new catalog, but no shimmer paint. But I, I think I think Stampin' Up! secretly watching my videos and they might bring back some shimmer paint eventually and some glitter, dazzling diamonds. Maybe. I don't know. We'll keep our fingers crossed. All right. So with every celebration, there's always a joining special. So the joining special this time is this organizer and planner, which is absolutely gorgeous. So you get the planner, this organizer, whatever you want to, do to call it. Um, you can use it as an organizer or planner, whatever you want. You get three notebooks that are so cute. So these are notebooks like whatever you want to do with them. Um, you get a stamp set, making plans. You get this whole big chunk of stuff to go in it. I haven't even opened mine yet because I haven't had time. So it's got your like calendars. It's got all these different um, papers in there for notes and everything to get organized. And I'm so excited because I am an organizer-aholic. I love, love, love organizing stuff. And you can ask my customers. I have like all these things to organize stuff and haven't got around to organizing yet. But I, I always buy stuff to organize things. So I can't wait to play with that. And then I'm running out of space. All right, I want to show you the celebration real fast. So this is the celebration catalog. Can't show you the inside yet, but isn't it cute? I can show you the back. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite free gift in there. And that's this one. So it's hard to tell from this picture, but it is a distinctive stamp set and you get the matching paper with it. So I just showed you this one already. So that's free. And then this is free. This is gold and um, silver embossed paper. And it's six by six. You get a little pack of that silver and gold specialty paper. These are sea, sea foam green um, note cards and envelopes, which is a great thing. That's free. And then this stamp set and the paper is free. And I wanted to show you this paper. So the stamp set, it's rubber and it's distinctive. And this is the paper that goes with it, which is absolutely amazing, gorgeous. So that's the first page. That's the back. That's another one. And that is, oh my gosh, beautiful. The colors in this paper are so pretty. Look, 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 look. Love it, love it. And that's the next one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it, love it. But this page, oh my gosh. I cannot wait to make a card with that. That's probably going to be my first card that I make. It's going to be that one. So this one is $100 with a $100 order. You get both of these, the stamp set and the paper. And then there's also a hostess one. I didn't get that one yet, but um, that was really cute too. All right, so that's my show and tell for tonight. So now we can get to stamping. So I think purple one, so we're gonna make purple. This is what we're making tonight, the purple one, because that seemed to um, outdo the pink one. Let me zoom in just a little. Let's see if that's too close. All right, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna do the purple one. So for that one, we're gonna need, let me get this out of the way. And let me look at comments real quick. See who else just came on. Let's see what you guys had to say about the stuff. Let's see. Um, oh, thank you, Pat. Enjoying my new bling. Yes, I am bling bling. Um, Red right up under the label. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> 
You just ordered flowing flowers. I cannot believe it's not carrying over. That's why I'm so sad. I was putting stuff away today and um, I found this stamp set. And I'm like, oh, I almost wanted to cry because it's one of my favorite ones. Um, let's see. Loving all the new goodies. Love the leaf embossing folder. Yes, it's gorgeous. Soft seedlings. Very, very pretty. I love it. Great tools for embossing. Yes. Um, using Sunkist on your CD calendar. Mm, that sounds interesting. Um, hey, Terry. A little bit late, but glad you're here. Um, love the pumpkin paper. Yes, it is pretty. Uh, vellum is gorgeous. Just ordered yours, Rosemary. Is the planner dated? Does the date... Oh, I don't think it's dated. I think it's like you'd put the dates on yourself, but I'll double check. Um, I think you can start it whenever you want to. So, um, I don't think it has a date in it. It's one of those ones, like, that's just January and you put the dates in. Um, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, I think I got pretty much everywhere. Oh, hey, Deborah, You caught me live this morning in Australia. How'd you catch me live this morning? In, are you catching me live? Is it, it's morning there, right? Isn't it like about 7 o'clock in the morning? in Australia. I think you guys are like 12 or 13 or I don't know, somewhere around there. All right, so this is what you need. New Horizons designer paper. And this is the one, one of my favorite pieces. I don't have that much left of this one, but let me show you. I have a stack. So these are all the pieces I haven't used yet, but this is about six packs is what I have left. And these are the pieces that I have left. So I only have like six of these left. And then I've got a bunch of these pink ones. And then I'll show you. Oh, that's really pretty. I love the back of that. So I'm gonna have to use something, make up some more cards, cause uh, I've got all this paper left. So I gotta use it up. All right, and then we're using the painted texture embossing folder and the flowing flower stamp set. And then also for the paper, we've got five and a half by eight and a half white, five and a quarter by four rich razzleberry. And I already embossed that one with that um, texture. What was it called? Texture, painted texture. And then the scalloped rectangle from the contour, scalloped contour dies. This one is about three and a quarter by four and a half. It's a tiny bit less, but that's about approximately what it is. So this is what you need for your card. So what we're gonna do is stamp the flowers right on here. So let me take, oh, let me put this on here for you first. Hold on. Let me see if I can put this over. So there you go. So now you can take a screenshot of the whole thing. Okay. Oh, I'm crooked. There we go. Um, oh, the planner says it's July 22 through December 23. Oh, thanks, Sandy. How are you doing? Oh, nine. It's. Deborah says it's 9.20 in Australia, so you're 14 hours ahead. Uh, okay, so the planner starts in July, so good to know, good to know. What paper one did you use? This this is the um, New Horizons paper, the one with the blues and purples in it. And that's the one that's retiring, and I'm not. it might even have sold out yet. I know it's very low inventory, or it might have sold out, but hopefully it hadn't sold out yet. Um... Oh, Robin, you just sent me a card? Yay. We for the pink one. Oh. Oh, for the pink one. Oh, hold on. Let me look. Where did I put it? Here. The pink one, I did this one. The one that has the sunrise and then the green at the bottom. And then it's just pink on the back. And I tried the flowers with the pink, too. But I liked this right here because it made them like yellow and orange and pink all together. So I stamped that one with the pink. I stamped it in polished pink on there. So that is that one. So this one, just remember, is this paper stamped with polished pink on top. Is that, and the um, leaves are Granny, um, Granny Smith. <laughs> I want to say Granny Smith. <laughs> granny Apple Green. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. So let's take these off. Let me tell you about my day. It was the most fantastic day ever. Because I was off. I was so excited. I had didn't have, well, I didn't have to work today. Thank goodness. So that was the best part. All right. So here's what we're going to do. 
We're gonna stamp right on here and you can get five of these. I'm using Blackberry Bliss. No, I'm not, wait a minute. Yes, I am. Okay, Blackberry Bliss. I thought I was using Razzle, Razz, Razzleberry. I think I grabbed the wrong ink pad. Well, we'll see in just a second. Maybe I did, I don't know. Darn, I think I grabbed the wrong ink pad. We'll see. Because I thought I used Rich Razzleberry. All right, so you can get five of these on one sheet. Um, No, that's the right, I think that's the right one. Mm, maybe not, no, it's not. Darn, I can't believe I grabbed the wrong ink pad. Oh, me oh my. Yep, I sure did. Well, it's just gonna be just slightly different color, that's all right. So the Razzleberry just gives it a little bit more um, purplish color. Dang, I don't like that. Okay, so here you go. Here's what we'll do. I have some already stamped ahead of time. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's almost the same. This is the Razzleberry, this is the Blackberry Bliss. So these are ones I stamped ahead of time, so we're gonna use that one instead. So don't use Blackberry Bliss, it's Rich Razzleberry. So let me stamp that off. I can't believe I grabbed the wrong. I had them both sitting there and I stamped them both and then I was like, mm, I like Razzleberry better. So, dang it, I can't believe, I hate it when I do that. All right, oh, well, well we gotta do the words too. Darn it, that won't make much difference. And we gotta do the inside. So we're gonna do the inside with this one, nobody will know. Just pretend like it's Rich Razzleberry. <laughs> nobody will tell on me. It just gives it a little bit darker color, but that's all right. Darn, that is too bad. Well, at least I brought the right green because we're using Old Olive. I brought all the right ink pads except for that one. So this one we're gonna stamp right at the bottom. This is just a note, which is in the same stamp set and put that right at the bottom. I did that crooked. <laughs> this is not my night here. <laughs> I had a great day though. All right, so for my day today, this is what I did. We're not gonna use that piece. We're gonna end up using this instead. So what we're gonna do is cut this out. I did one ahead of time, so you wouldn't have to wait so long. And then I'm gonna do this one. Let's see, I think I like this one better. So we're just gonna cut this real quick while I tell you about my day. So I got to sleep in late because I had to work last night. And then I got up and ate breakfast and it was so gorgeous outside. So I really, really, really wanted to go sit out in the sun a little bit. So I went ahead and got my project done early. So about 12 o'clock, I finished the projects for this video. And um, I went and sat in the sun for a couple hours and it was so beautiful. It was like 80 degrees no humidity there was a nice breeze blowing it was absolutely gorgeous and i sat out on my deck and in my bathing suit and uh i had my redneck sprinkler going on so what i did was i had the, the the hose right next to me while i was sitting in my lounge chair and so about every 10 or 15 minutes i'd get a little bit hot and so i had the hose like on but not on you know you just had to squeeze it so I would squeeze it straight up in the air so it would like rain down on me. So it was almost like I was getting a little rain shower about every 10 or 15 minutes. And it felt so good. And I mean, I was just uh, having the best time. That's like my favorite thing to do besides stamping is laying in the sun, which I know is bad for you. And I don't do it nearly as much as I used to because I've always had a pool until I moved to this house. So I used to be a teacher and I spent every single day out by the swimming pool all summer long. So I definitely don't get nearly as much sun as I used to, but a couple hours here and there is all right. All right, so that's what it looks like when you cut them out. Now we're gonna stamp the leaves on here and we're gonna use Old Olive. And we're just gonna stamp these um, in the corner. So I'm gonna do this corner here and here. And I'm just gonna stamp it a couple times like that. And then do some down here to give it like a little bit more fullness. So I'm just kind of turning it. So we've got those three corners done. And then we're just gonna put it down. So um, you pick which one you like the best for the front one. And it's hard to decide because 
I love the blue in there. So I think I really like them both. I don't want to cover that blue up there. So I'm going to put that one in the back and this one in the front. All right. So we're going to just glue this down flat and I'm just going to use some regular old um, tape. So I'm just going to glue this down flat right up in the corner. And then we're going to curl this up a little bit. And I'm missing all the... Um, Oh, I got to tell you something funny that happened at work, too. Yesterday. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. Let me put some dimensionals on the back of this while I read some comments. All right. Let me see. Granny Smith. <laughs> oh, Starla, you missed my last two lives. What? I thought you were always on here. Terry says she loves the paper. She's hoarding it. I know. I was hoarding it, too. Yes, the raspberry looks much better, but sorry. I grabbed the wrong, I can't believe I grabbed the wrong pad. That's crazy. I mean, I had it sitting right there. Um, oh, thank you, Sandy, for answering the question. My Blackberry Bliss is a little bit kind of chewed up. I'm not sure. What happens with those purple and reddish colors that they get looking like that? Um, one of your favorite colors, Dolores. Oh, thank you, Kathy. You're so sweet. Yeah, my Blackberry Bliss, Bliss is a little bit... Uh, a little bit chewed up, but the raspberry is also too. Um, let's see. On the right. I'm not sure what that means. All right, so we're going to put some dimensionals on this one. Oh, so let me tell you what happened yesterday at work. So, um, evidently there's a new kind of leggings that are around that are very, very unflattering to those who wear them if you're not a uh, toothpick. So this lady walks in and she's got on some purple ones and they look basically like pantyhose. They're really, really thin material um, and almost see-through looking. But the lady who walked in wearing the purple ones was not so bad. I mean, she was cute and um, I mean, I would never wear them in public because they are somewhat uh, showing of every little... Um, everything that you have, <laughs> like every little roll, every little cellulite bubble or everything that, you know, you could possibly show through pants was showing. And I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe that lady. And she, it looked like she had no underwear on either, like from the back and her shirt didn't come down far enough to cover everything. So we were all just like shaking our heads going, I can't believe somebody walks out in public looking like that. Well, not like 15 minutes after that lady leaves, here comes another one. And this lady is larger, like not quite as fat as I am, but on the larger side. And she's wearing skin colored ones. And I swear to you, when she was walking up to the front door, I thought she didn't have any pants on. I, it really almost looked like she just had a shirt on and nothing else because... It was skin colored and, and they looked exactly like pantyhose. And I, I, I yelled to the, uh, my coworker, I'm like, oh my God, look at this girl walking in the door. And then she walked in and I could see that she actually had something on, but literally you could see everything through them. And I thought, and hers was not covering it either. And I thought, what in the heck? Is this some new kind of thing that you want to wear these leggings that are totally thin as can be and they show every little flaw that you have and don't wear a shirt to cover your uh girly parts and i mean everybody in the whole center was looking at this girl because i mean she was just walking around she might as well have been naked i don't know but it shocked me <laughs> but it, at the same time it was kind of funny but i don't know she just needed to look in the mirror and say, okay, I probably shouldn't go out in public wearing these pants. All right, so this one's already embossed. And you can use, with this folder, you can use either side because they're both kind of um, have up and, you know, up pieces and down pieces. So it's not like normal embossing folders where one side is up and one side's down. Um, I was not keeping a straight face. I was really like, yes, you could see every dimple on, on the 
the legs and the skin colored ones. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Cher said, when you walked into church last Sunday, there was a woman kneeling at the rail wearing the skin colored one. <laughs> she thought she was naked. I know it. What is up with that? I've seen ones on TikTok videos. They like, if you have a really, really good body, they make your um, rear end look like, I don't know, way better. But they're only for people who have really, really good bodies. I only wear leggings. I wear leggings, but I wear long shirts to cover them. And mine are like really thick and kind of like, you know, hold everything in. And they don't show all the little ripples of your every part on there. So I just think they're comfortable. But I'm never wearing like see-through ones. I can tell you that. But I don't know. Some people walk in in there with pajamas on and bathrobes, nightgowns, everything. Everything under the sun. But that, I think, topped it for everything I've ever seen come in the door. Because, I mean, really, for a split second, I thought she was totally naked. All right, so dimensionals on the back of that one. It was funny, though. And it was hard to keep my straight face. So I got some sun today. Can you tell? I look like a little bit more tan. And it was so nice. I just, and tomorrow's supposed to be exactly the same. So I might have to go back out there for a little bit. All right, so there we go. And then we're gonna put some jewels on here. So I've got my new favorites. These are the iridescent rhinestones. So we're gonna grab a couple of those with the take a pick tool. So just get that goo on there. We're gonna put one of the bigger ones right in the middle of the big flower. And then we're gonna put a couple little ones on uh, all around. So there you go, we'll put one right there. All right, and then of course we're gonna to have to do some shimmer spray. And that's gonna just, oh. Oh my gosh look at that all right and then we're just gonna curl these up again because it kind of fell back down when they got a little bit wet okay so there we go so there you go we've got can you see the shimmer on that it shows up pretty good on the dark paper love it love it love it <laughs> Karen said I'll never understand how they leave their home <laughs> That's the worst, PJs and slippers. You would not even believe how many people walk in with PJs and slippers. It just amazes me. I, I don't understand it. Wear them to the mattress, please. <laughs> I bet you people do walk in there in their um, pajamas. Um, yeah, just because they make it in your size does not mean you should wear it exactly, exactly. Uh, I know the lady was with her boyfriend or her husband too. You think he would have said something like, honey, you should not be going out in public like that. Um, oops, look, I've got dimensional backings all over myself. All right, so there's the purple one. There's the pink one. So the pink one is polished pink. Don't forget that. Let me see if I've got the piece that's already stamped so I can show you. Hold on. Yep, here we go. So that one, you just stamp on the top part, so not on the green, but just use the polished pink and stamp right on there. And so you get some yellow, depending on where you put it. You can only fit like three on this part, but you could do like some half ones and actually stick it in the back if you want to, because you don't really see like half of that flower. So you want to try and squeeze some more in. And I tried it on the back with just the pink and that was actually pretty too, but I think I liked it better with the yellow. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Don't forget if you want to order anything, we've got that humongous sale going on. Lots and lots of stuff is on sale. Half price and 30% off and all sorts of goodies. So um, this is my host code if you would like to order. I'm going to turn the video on private for just about 15 minutes and edit the beginning of it and um, do a couple things. Then I'll turn it right back on. So make sure you do the liking, sharing, commenting, all that stuff. Subscribe. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. 
Do you really think that a boyfriend or husband would say that to a woman? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if my husband let me go out looking like that, if I had one, I'd be like mad. I guess she probably knew what she looked like. I don't know. Thanks, everybody. Star <laughs> Starla, my husband, <laughs> Karen says, my husband would. Man. That's kind of like when you ask your husband, do, do these pants make me look fat? And they say, no, honey. When you know the answer is yes. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll be back Tuesday for another episode of Stamping with Lisa. Um, you guys take care and have a great day tomorrow. Bye-bye.